All right, guys, we're back with our second video, which is turning waste into energy. I thought this was a really kind of a cool nonfiction piece um, about how this grocery store is is helping the environment and doing some some interesting things to um, to solve some problems that we have. Uh, one thing I didn't like is this picture. I've never seen anyone look at an apple like that in the grocery store. I'm a little concerned about this woman admiring apple, woman admiring apple. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But what I do want you to notice is my gloves. Oh my goodness. So, in the last video, you saw my hands, right? Well, I remembered that my sister-in-law gave me these hand masks. They're supposed to make your hands look younger. So, in this video, I'm doing the hand mask. And in the next video, you can decide if it has worked, if my hands look younger. Okay, so I'm counting on you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into um, into the explanation of this excerpt. Okay, so number eight says, what does the photograph of the anaerobic digester silos and its caption help the reader understand? Well, I'm, I'm going to assume they mean this photo, not the photo of woman admiring apple. So there's the silos. And it says, the caption says, anaerobic digester silos trap methane gas. Okay. So our question, we can see the answers, G. Let's talk about how we got there. F says, my, uh, it will help the reader understand uh, microbes are used to make methane. Do you see any microbes over here? I do not. I see the word methane in the caption, but I am not understanding how that process occurs here. I don't understand anything about microbes from the photo or the caption. Okay, if I read, I might get some more stuff, but it just asked me about the photo and the caption. So, not F, there's no how. A diagram could show me how. A photograph is not gonna show me how. G is our choice, um, it's our correct answer. It says methane is, methane is held in containers so it won't escape. Well, look at that, those are containers. Yes, containers. Oh, this one's really interesting. I don't know about that guy. But these are the silos. And they are containers. And it says it traps methane gas. Trap? So it won't escape? <gasps> Those seem to go together. What do you know? Okay. And then um, H says farms benefit from the extra food from stores. Okay. That is true from the story. But I'm not going to see that in the picture. Okay, um, and I'm not even sure if that's a farm. It's probably not. That's probably not where they put those silos, right? So this doesn't look like a farm, and we can't see any food here that's helping the farm. So that's not what we're seeing here. Okay, by the way, your code word um, for number eight is tooth fairy. J, uh, answer choice J said methane is converted into electric power. But again, this one doesn't show how, okay? You would have to take a big jump to figure out if this is what's happening in this picture, okay? You've gotta look at the evidence you have. So G's our best choice, okay? Moving on to number nine. Which sentence from the selection best shows that the Sainsbury Company, that's the grocery store, tries to make use of a byproduct? A lot of you had questions on what a byproduct is, okay? Well, you can look at the hyphen and if you think of, um, okay, you know what a product is. And the prefix by has to do with something extra, okay? Um, like something, a second, a second product, right? Um, so something they weren't expecting to make, but they did make. That's a byproduct, okay? They found it useful even though that wasn't the main purpose of, of the um of whatever they were making, okay? So they tried to make use of a byproduct, something that's extra that's created. Okay, so choice A says, offering shoppers the freshest and most appealing products possible is a good start. Well, they're not making anything there. That's just the, the way they try to avoid waste, right? It's by choosing the best um, produce so that nothing gets wasted, okay? Um, or, or, the least amount possible gets wasted. That is not creating a byproduct, okay? Um, 
So, by the way, your code word for number nine is the Beatles. Okay, um, choice B says special trucks collect food waste from more than 1,200 grocery stores all over England. Okay, so some of y'all thought it might be that because the trucks do use the methane that is created. Okay, the methane is a byproduct, right? But col them collecting the food doesn't talk about the trucks using the methane. This sentence doesn't show us that the trucks use the methane, right? It says that the trucks collect the food waste, okay? So choice C said some of the methane trapped during the process fuels the trucks. Yes, there is where they're using the byproduct, okay? The methane is created when the food rots. And so they use that methane to fuel the trucks that go to collect the food. So that shows us them using the byproduct, okay? So choice C is our best choice. D, so far Europe has mainly, has mainly led the way in biofuel development. Biofuel development is the product, not the byproduct. And it says Sainsbury's in the question, not Europe. So choice D is not our best choice, okay? All right, number 10. Man, these gloves are not comfortable. They better make my hands look so young. Okay, number 10. Um, which idea presented in the selection does the photograph and caption next to paragraph 3 Best support, that is gonna be woman admiring apple. Mm, okay, so um, why is she admiring that apple? Because it's a beautiful, beautiful apple. Okay, we're gonna go backwards on this one. Um, choice J is not the best choice because it says unwanted produce can be a nutritious source of food for farm animals. Okay, she's not a farm animal, she's a woman and it's not unwanted produce because that is an awesome looking apple. That's why she's admiring it, right? So not choice J. Uh, choice H, Sainsbury's donates fresh produce to local organizations that help people in need. Okay, well, maybe, but that looks like it's in the store, not at a local organization that's helping people in need. And if I, admire, if I look at her, I'm going to say she doesn't really look and maybe I'm making a judgment there, but she doesn't look like she is receiving help. She doesn't look needy. Um, she looks like she's shopping. Looks like it's in the in the store. She doesn't look like she's receiving the um, the produce um, at the at the shelters or anything like that. Okay, choice G. People like to buy produce that is sold at a reduced price. Well, there's no price shown in the photo. So we don't know if she's paying a reduced price or not. Our best choice is choice F. It says an initial step in Sainsbury's plan is selling appealing foods to its customers. Woman admiring apple, appealing foods. So we have something to back up our answer choice there. F is our best choice. By the way, your code word for number 10 is umbrella. Umbrella. Okay, can I turn the page? Yes, my glass. Okay. Number 11. Okay. We have one of these dictionary entries. So, I don't know if you like these or not. You can still look it up in our dictionary because our dictionary may have a different um, choice. You know, different uh, definitions. Okay. So, it says, read the dictionary de entry for chain. A bendable series of joined links, like a chain, you know, like. Um, if you were going to tow someone with a chain like that, okay, or like the chains that uh, Jacob Marley had in A Christmas Carol. Number two, a bond or anything that binds together. That would be like a chain of proteins or something. Um, number th or yeah, definition three says a series of events related by cause and effect. So like a chain of events. And then number four says a group of businesses owned by one parent company. Okay, well, in paragraph one over here, um, it says the oldest grocery chains. Sainsbury's is one of England's uh, oldest grocery chains. So guess what? I'm gonna say that's a business. So definition four is our best choice there when we look at it um, in context, okay?
okay? Just got to think these through and make sure you read them all um, and don't get, um, don't get in a hurry here, guys, okay? So, um, your code word for number 11 is grumpy cat. Grumpy cat, okay? All right, number 12. What is most the most likely reason the author wrote this selection? Okay, um, I'm going to expand on something you've probably already learned. Okay, it's pie. Mmm, pie, I love pie. But we're going to say pie-y. Pie-y. Pie-y, right? Okay, so persuade is one purpose. Okay, inform. That's another purpose. Entertain. Another purpose. And um, our final one has more to do with um, poetry and that um, that sort of thing and um, that is to expose emotion okay we may change the way we're wording that later but um, expose emotion sometimes poetry doesn't do any of those three things but it does expose emotion so we're going to add pi e okay so let's look at what our purpose is. When I'm looking at these, I would say this one that I just read would probably be in the inform category, right? It, it's, it might have made me think, ooh, I need to be less wasteful, but that's what, that wasn't its purpose. I came up with that on my own. Its purpose was to inform me about what Sainsbury's is doing um, to try to solve the problem of wasted food, right? So. Let's look at the verbs in our answer choices. Encourage, that's a persuasive word. Show, that is an informative word. So, demonstrate, demonstrate is usually an informative word. And argue is a persuasive word. So, almost just looking at the verbs, I can get rid of two answer choices. But, of course, I need to read them in, in their entirety, okay? So, F says to encourage the reader not to waste food. Again, I came up with that on my own. This piece is not persuasive. If I thought that, that's good for me. But that was my thought, not what the story gave me. G says to show the reader that many uh, different types of biofuels are being used. The only one that was talked about here was methane that can be used from um, as a byproduct of rotting food. Um and so I can't say there were different types in this story. H is our best choice. It says to demonstrate that creativity can help solve environmental problems. Well, we do know that it did solve environmental problems, okay? Um, and then was it creative? That's where we go back to our story. And at the very beginning, it says that the um, inner, uh, they're creating new energy sources and it's positively groundbreaking. To me, that sounds creative. That's another definition for creative. So I think I have evidence for choice H, okay? Um, by the way, your code word uh, for number 12 is Star Trek, okay? Star Trek is your code word. Okay, answer J says to argue the importance of preventing methane from escaping into the atmosphere. It did talk about methane escaping into the atmosphere and why that's a problem, but it did not argue anything, okay? Um, it did say that Sainsbury's is doing something to prevent that. That's all we got from that, okay? All right, moving on to number 13, okay? All right, in paragraph four, why does the author compare anaerobic digesters to stomachs? All right, I'm gonna have to go back to paragraph four over here. Um, it's to explain to us what happens in these anaerobic digesters, okay? It says the machine grinds the waste into a slushy goo, which is poured into silos called anaerobic dig digesters. These giant silos act like artificial stomachs. Inside, microbes digest organic waste and produce methane bubbles. Okay, so it's saying that it basically digests the waste just like our stomach does, right? help us understand that I think. All right our best choice is A. It says to show how the silos use bacteria to change the food waste into methane. 
Okay, um, because it did, it did show us how. It was telling us how the anaerobic digesters do what stomachs do. Okay, so it looks like a pretty good choice. Choice B, to describe how vehicles use the biofuel created by the silos. Well, that's not what was like the stomach. It wasn't the vehicles. Okay, that's not how that worked. Um, and besides, stomachs don't use it. They break stuff down, right? Um, C, to emphasize that the silos produce the same amount of methane as landfill, landfills. No, it said landfills produce methane as well but it's just released into the atmosphere. And we have no idea that the silos produce the same amount. Didn't say that, uh, no evidence there. And then choice D is to suggest that the food waste collected in silos comes mainly from leftover meals. Okay, uh, we don't know that, okay. Um, in fact, a lot of it, it's not leftover meals, it is, um, food waste from the grocery stores, right? That no one ever bought to make a meal out of. So we, we cannot prove anything on this one. In fact, we have evidence to the contrary, but what we do have evidence for is A. Um, your code word for number 13 is Mike Wazowski. Good luck spelling that one. I don't know what you mean, it's okay. Okay, number 14. What is the most likely reason the author included the information in paragraph six? Okay, paragraph six um, is talking about the ADs, which are the anaerobic digesters. Um, it says there's, that their source is reliable. Every meal, whether it's eaten in a restaurant or at home, results in some food waste. Fortunately, much of that garbage can be turned into a valuable raw material for making biofuel. Thus, the waste is no longer wasted. Okay, so again, that's that byproduct, right? Okay. Um, all right, our choice, our best choice is H. Let's talk about why. To suggest that it is difficult to collect food waste. No evidence of that. All we got about collecting the food waste was that they send out the trucks um, that, that collects it, okay? So we have no evidence about how difficult it is. It might be difficult, but we don't know that, okay? To argue that food waste is a growing problem. Again, it did say that food waste is a problem, but it's not arguing this key word. Okay, that's not its purpose. Choice H, to highlight that food waste is a renewable and useful resource. Okay, that is our best choice because it said in the story, waste is no longer wasted. Okay, um, so, and it said that it's sustainable in the, in the story. So, um, that explains why the food waste is important because it can be used as um, a biofuel, okay? Choice J, to reveal that food waste is difficult to control. Well, that might be true, but this whole story is about how they're trying to control it. Um, so that is not um, what was happening in paragraph six, okay? So um, our code word for number 14 is lottery ticket. And that concludes our second video. Thanks, guys.